Hey guys, this is just a really quick video showing off some of the new functionality that we've added, or that Carbon added. He did a really good job on this um, with the 2.5.0 release of the Capture software. Um, and so the basic the basic idea of this software is now you can run your own bot in the Capture software, um, and that bot will help issue a lot of the mute and deafen requests on behalf of the official bot. So you can still use the official bot like normal, um, but using that Capture bot will allow it to distribute the requests and generally you know, operate a lot faster um, and mute and, and deafen and do all the that behavior in your server when you're playing in big games a lot faster. Um, so really excited about this feature. It's going to make a big difference on you know how fast the bot, bot operates for people. Um, and yeah, let's just get started. So I'm just going to start off from scratch. So add.automute.us is the domain um, for an invite link to invite our, invite our official bot to your server. Um, so if we scroll down, we've got this test server. Go ahead and authorize it. I'm not a robot. Uh, cool. And then we see it pop up in our server. So if you already had it added, you don't have to do that. But this is how you'd add it if you haven't added the bot before. Cool. So once we're done with that, um, then what we're going to want to do is we're going to download the 2.50 release. Um, this you know this may be upgraded it may be 2.5.1 2.6 whatever it's just download the latest release of the Among Us capture um, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to the latest release um, which is 2.5.0 or later um, is what you're going to want to download for this new functionality cool so once you keep it um, and then wait for Windows to verify or whatever it does right here uh, cool then you can open it and we're going to want to make sure to extract all the contents cool uh, and if you ha are, if you're upgrading from a previous version of the capture, make sure to double click and start this at least once. Um, the reason being is those links that the bot sends you in DMs to you know start up your capture application, it needs to get re-registered with newer versions of the capture. So just make sure to run it manually at least once, and then in the future you can just click click the links in the DMs. Um, cool. So yeah, here you can see the warning indicating that it, it'll be a lot faster if you have your own token set. Um, so as far as how to enable that setting, we'd go into the settings window, go to the Discord tab, and then we'd paste the token in here. So let's let's go through really quickly how you actually get one of those tokens and, and how this works. Um, so what you want to do is go to the Discord developer portal. Um, again, link in the description. Um, but you're just going to want to make a new bot. So this is you know dedicated. Uh, let's see, AU worker bot, something like that. You can call it whatever you want. Um, cool. So then what we're going to want to do is go to the bot tab. Uh, and add a bot. Make sure yes, do it. Uh, cool. And so now we've got our bot application or our bot integration in the application. So where it says token right here, you just want to click copy uh, and then go back to our capture application, paste it in here, and then go ahead and click submit. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that so it does go online and it has connected to the Discord API, um, but we're going to need to go to OAuth and we're going to need to actually add this bot that we just made to our server because it's not it's not in here right now. So go to the OAuth 2 tab. Once you're done with the bot stuff, go to the OAuth 2 tab, select a bot, and then scroll down and select mute and deafen. Um, these are the only permissions that the worker bot needs. It just needs those permissions. Um, so once you have bot, mute, and deafen, clap, copy this URL. Uh, just go to a new window. And then make sure to add it to the same server that, uh, that we're talking about over here. Cool. So when you authorize, I'm not a robot. Uh, now you can see it pops up and it's online because when we look back at our capture application we saw that it, you know connection successful and it did connect to the discord gateway uh, cool so now now we're good to roll so if we were to you know hop into a voice channel and then do a you new um, we'd see no capture linked you know you'd start a game like you normally would uh, with with um, with the automuta spot um, but now there's you know a little bit more logging information as far as it, it's telling um, it's telling the official bot, hey, I have a capture, I have a capture bot that you can use. So let's go ahead and use that. Oops, that's the official server. Um, cool. So now the game's running. Um, if you were to play a game uh, with larger quantities, you know, with with more players in here, um, it'll send more requests to this capture client. Um, so the advantage is that you know it sends. If you have a full game of ten players, it'll send five to the capture bot, and then it'll put five on the normal you know bot application, the official bot. Um, so all those requests will go through a lot faster. Whereas before, without this, it was sending you know all ten of those requests for all ten players in your game all on the official bot. So not only was it stressing our bot out a lot more, but uh, those 10 requests physically can't go through fast enough um, because of Dis Discord's uh, you know, a API rate limitations. Um, so this is kind of a method to address that. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's, I think that's the basics. Uh, we're running you know, 5.0 version of the bot now. This kind of coincides, this release coincides with you know, version 5.0. 
Um, so yeah, have fun out there, and uh, good luck.